Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your monthly advice readings for the month of April 2016 and this reading is for Taurus. Um, so thank you very much for being here with me and please bear in mind these are general readings and so they may not apply to everybody or not in the same way. And if you'd like a private reading specific to you and your situation, you can go to my website at www www.advicetothinktwice.com, um, the services page, um, and you can book a reading with me there. Um, you'll find all the information you need. If there's something you are not sure of or you don't understand, please do contact me and I will clear everything up for you. Um, so we're looking at the month of April, okay, and how it's going to play out for you Taurus people. And so the first card we have for the first week of April for you is the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is a beautiful card. It talks about progress, looking forward to the future, seeing the initial results of your work and being able to plan further. The Three of Wands is talking about your ships coming in and ships going out at the same time. Okay, so you are starting to see the initial results of your work. It's definitely to do with your career because Wands speak to your career. Um, and so you're starting to see very positive results. I feel like this is coming after some sort of a change in your work situation, some sort of uh, promotion or advancement or starting a new job, start signing a new contract or a partnership. And so you've been working um, for a few weeks or a couple of months, okay? And you are already starting to see very positive results coming in for you, okay? As a result of all your hard work. And you are going to be using these results to plan for the future, plan even further, okay? Figure out what it is that you wanna do next. You may be looking at multiple tasks. You may be looking at um, working on multiple projects at the same time. And if that is the case, know that they are all moving forward for you. They are all blossoming for you. You are going to see success and recognition coming your way, okay? During the, the first month of, uh, first week of April, sorry, 2016. Um, and the thing with the Three of Wands is a focus on the future, okay? Just keep your eye on the future. Don't doubt yourself, don't look back, don't question anything. You are going to see success, accept it, embrace it, and use it to move even further. And the second w uh, week of April 2016, we have the King of Pentacles, and this is um, your card, okay? So for a lot of you, this is saying that um, you are starting to feel comfortable with who you are, starting to feel comfortable with where you are in life, um, with your situation and in general, in your work life, financial situation, family life, love life. You're feeling happy, you're feeling abundant, okay? There's a sense of richness that is coming through from the King of Pentacles. Um, the energy of the King of Pentacles is being content with everything you have accomplished things are maturing for you things are settling down down for you uh you're definitely seeing money coming in okay and if this is not just in your money situation with this being a general reading it can be anything really it's a sense of richness prosperity and abundance okay whether that be in your money situation in your work situation with success and recognition in your love life where there's a sense of emotional abundance okay and mutual su support and mutual understanding um this may also see you focusing on where you want to invest next, okay? So you could be looking at improving your home. You could be looking at extending your home. Um, this is definitely putting money aside and um, still having plenty to do the things you like, to do the things that give you uh, joy, okay? Um, you could be definitely spending some time in nature, recharging your batteries, um, and there's a sense of giving back as well that comes with the King of Pentacles in this particular reading. For the third week, we have the Temperance card. And this is telling me that, again, balance is being restored in your life, okay, especially towards the third week of the month. Um, temperance is all about integrating, um, integrating new things with old things, new knowledge with old knowledge, and creating something new or improving what you have, improving what you know. Um, there is a sense of harmony, there is a sense of balance. Again, I'm seeing you mo working on multiple projects or multiple jobs and you're able to keep everything in the air. You're able to um, invest uh, and give the right amount of time and attention to each um, and every one of these projects. 
with the temperance card again i'm seeing i'm seeing richness okay so that this could definitely be a good money month for you um a month where again things are calming down you feel more secure you feel more balanced um, you feel uh, very confident and very competent because you see how much you have been accomplishing and you still have a lot of plans and a lot more to do okay further to go still and with the temperance card there is also a sense of waiting for some of you um, I feel like you are investing in something in the beginning of the month um, and you're really giving it your all, you're investing your resources into this. And then with the temperance card, there is a sense of waiting um, to hear back or waiting on some results or um, waiting to see what's ha what, what happens as well. Okay. Um, but you're keeping yourself busy while you wait for these results. And this could be an idea that you pitch to someone. This could be a personal business that you're trying to start. Okay, and there's also, so with the temperance card, there's also a sense of waiting sometime in the third week, waiting to see what happens, waiting to see how your idea is received. And then in the fourth, fourth week of April 2016, we have the Ace of Wands. And so this is a beautiful energy of a new beginning in terms of career, work life, what do you do to make money, um, or any other kind of creative projects, or um, any personal business that you're working on, or you have been working on. Um, this is really coming through, okay, um, there's a sense of abundance, creation, expansion with the Ace of Wands, okay, this is a time of inspiration, this is a time of passion and determination and accomplishing a million things at the same time, um, having a lot of energy um, and a lot of inner strength and inner confidence to use this energy to keep up with this energy and to manifest as much as you can manifest okay the thing with the ace of wands is it is one seed that if you nurture it correctly or properly it will turn into a bouquet of flowers okay and each each of that different flower is a different opportunity for you to invest in a different opportunity for you to make the best of okay so I feel like you're going to have a new beginning towards the end of the month that is going to come with a lot of fire, a lot of passion. It has to do with the things you enjoy to do. It has to do with your potentially a hobby that you're turning into a business or um, whatever it is that you have been working on that truly makes you feel closer to your life purpose. Okay, and this is going to completely take off for you. So definitely... Um, give it your all give it your best and make make the most of each and every single opportunity that this ace of wands energy is bringing in for you okay but there is a sense of passion there's a sense of um drive and courage and excitement and joy and happiness that comes with the ace of wands so i'm seeing this as a more business oriented month okay for the most of you that this reading um, is going to apply to potentially um, and just know there's going to be um, definite progress especially if you're trying to start something especially if you've been working on uh, your own ideas your own projects your own businesses that is definitely going to be taking off for you this month okay and there's a sense of richness and abundance that is going to um, find you in the month of April 2016 the overall theme that we have is storm warning, okay? And what this is, it's really talking about a need to allow the past to be the past. There's going to be a, a wave of energy that is coming in, okay? Especially starting with the beginning of the month with the Three of Wands, this is a lot of fire. This is a lot of um, energy driving towards change. And so know that there is going to be at least one big change happening. And it is going to feel like for, um, for a few minutes, hours or days even, it is going to feel like you are inside this 
tornado because everything's going to be happening all at the same time and there's going to be a lot of changes happening at the same time and so you're not going to be particularly clear on what is going on and so that may be a bit intimidating and it may feel a bit chaotic um, but what you do need to be aware of the fact is what you do need to be aware of is the fact that this change is necessary there's nothing to be afraid of okay there is nothing to be intimidated by this energy is coming in to help you move in the direction that you've been trying to move in and this energy this big wave of energy um, is coming in to push you as far as you can go at this time okay so definitely don't be afraid of the energy embrace it and try to keep up try to keep this momentum going and so don't be afraid when certain people leave your life certain situations stop in your life, um, certain patterns stop happening, um, anything that you have been familiar with for a while that may be suddenly disappearing, don't be afraid of that. Um, let it go, whatever you need to release, let it go, release it because you're heading into a much better place for yourself, okay? And it is everything that you have been working towards. Um, and the overall guidance we have for you is the unicorn and the maiden. And this is a card that talks about reconnecting to who you are, okay? Reconnecting um, with your intuition and rediscovering or just discovering uh, your life's purpose and feeling a lot closer to it in the month of April 2016. Um, the card is also talking about purification. So there's going to be a lot of changes, definitely. And I was saying that some things or people or situations are going to um, leave your life so the need to detoxify comes up to let these situations and these people and these energies go and so let the old go in order to make room for the new okay so that is what the purification is for you um, allowing this energy clearing to happen okay in whichever way it may be if it's people leaving your life or situations or um, patterns or old ways of thinking or old perspectives that no longer apply to you, allow them to go and embrace the new energy and embrace the new beginnings. You could definitely focus on nurturing yourself as well, okay, throughout the month of April 2016. Make the time to relax, make the time to do something that makes you feel happy, make the time um, to pamper yourself, okay? so. Um, time in nature or um, any other kind of physical activity that you find therapeutic or that makes you happy. Um, anything from massages to spa days or anything like that. Make sure you do make the time for that for the month of April because that is also going to contribute to the process of clearing out the old and welcoming the new, okay? But it looks like a really beautiful month for you, so uh, let me know how it goes. Um, Please do comment in the section below and let me know if the cards apply to you or how they apply to your situation, how you make sense of the messages. Um, uh, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos, for liking my videos, um, and thank you for sharing them with people you may think could also benefit from them. And um, if you feel... Um, like you should please also check your moon and rising sign readings as well because there could be additional messages for you in those readings as well okay so thank you very very much for being here with me and thank you again for all your support um i do appreciate it it does mean a lot to me i hope you have a fantastic month and i will talk to you soon take care